recording right now. Um, so this is our first week's uh, Diamond Dash call and every single week we're going to have a call and the next one's going to be on the 10th, the 17th, and the 24th. So there's going to be four calls all together. Um, screen. Hmm. There we go. Present. All right. Do you see my screen? Uh, yeah, now I can. Okay, perfect. All right. So in this call, we're going to go over the um, importance of our tracker, trackers, plural, because we have the ebook and then we have the tracker that you should probably, I think we talked about it in our getting started right call, um, Micah's tracker. And if you haven't downloaded this, it is in the announcement section of Team Inspiration, but um, this is the lifeline <laughs> of the mm -hmm. business. And then we're going to talk about the open for business post and talking about the business in our um, social media and prizes. So, okay, so our daily habit tracker. Um, this is super important and what has totally changed in my business is scheduling time in my day. Um, whether it's the same time every single day or if it's power pockets, you know, I'm going to sit down for 15 minutes here when my child's doing this, maybe they're doing virtual learning, um, or when your kids are napping, I don't know if your kids nap anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, that's what I've done. And for example, you know, before I had help, uh, my sister helps me, with my daughter, um, I had to do it while she napped. And also I would take a little bit of a break and only do it for 30 minutes. And then when she would go down for bed, I would do it for another 30 or 40 minutes. As I've increased my inviting and my volume of bringing on coaches, I've had to add in a little bit more time for getting started right calls for Zoom, you know, Diamond Dash calls. So I just know that scheduling time is a huge priority. We have as a family um, a whiteboard or a chalkboard in our kitchen area, and I've written down my calls and the times that I've been doing, I'll do my power hour. So everyone knows what's going on, and that's part of telling your family. Um, I messed up <laughs> the first couple years of the business and I didn't tell my husband what I was doing. I didn't tell my long-term plan, didn't tell my dreams. And I, I didn't explain to him what exactly was on this piece of paper that I kept focusing on every single day. So what's my suggestion is, um, since this is a recording and for other people that aren't married, don't have family, um, is to tell yourself, you know, this is a priority and to give yourself business hours so you're not on your phone, on the computer all day long. Because that's when it gets to the point where your family is like, what are you doing? You're disconnected from me. You know, you're not paying attention and you're not spending quality time. And what's really cool in this tracker is there's actually a little heart uh, next to the days. And those little hearts, I actually do check off um, spending quality time with your family. And what I really, really suggest is setting out goals when beginning of the month, um, you know, before you set out professional goals and business goals, talk about your family, you know, and your emotional goals and say, you know, I want to spend X amount of time every single day solely focusing on like an activity. Maybe it's a water gun fight. Maybe it's going to get your hair, your daughter's hair dyed blue, whatever it is. <laughs> um, you know, that's really cool. And then even, you know, date nights. Um, whatever it is, making things priority outside of Beachbody. Um, we want to develop as a person and make this fit into your life and bless your life, not become all consuming and everything that you think about. It's like combining. Um, your journey is your life. <laughs> so that's where I find it's really natural for me to tell my family, you know, mommy's going to get in this workout. It's really important to her. And also other women are being inspired by me and mommy's going to help other people do this too. And your kids can get involved with your workouts. Maybe they want to do the kids workouts too and experience it, but it really becomes a lifestyle change and bringing them into the fold will make them be like, Oh yeah, like I support you. You know, this is something that's important. Uh, next, um, our diamond dash tracker. So it kind of overlaps. Um, this is the week one tracker and it looks like this on the right side. It's essentially the same thing 
as our daily tracker. Um, it has the workout, the check-in to your boot camp. Really important. I think this is crucial. The second one, checking in your boot camp, even if you don't have a current challenger, being present and commenting on other people's posts gets you in the habit of engaging with people. So make sure that's not, you know, um, and just doing your own post and getting involved as like getting those muscles, you know, used as a coach. And through that, all of these, the Facebook and Instagram activities, these are all in our daily habit tracker, but this is just reinforcing it. On the uh, left hand side, you already did this, which is great, enrolling your spouse. Uh, first step, you're halfway to diamond and, or halfway to emerald. And um, the last part, I'm actually going to go to the next slide, which is our opening for business post. Um, this is really important. People are not going to know what you're doing, what you've jumped into, and it's almost like making it official, right? People are going to be like, oh, okay, this is a real thing. Like she's diving into this. And the more and more we talk about business and sharing the blessings of it, um, sharing how this lifestyle has changed and how you do it, what you do every day. For example, sharing that you're on a call right now that's developing you and training you, giving you tools to move forward that you're not alone is really important too. Um, not just like screen sharing and just saying like, I'm on this call. Well, great. Like people are going to be like, okay, she's on this call. Like what's what is she actually doing? You know, mm -hmm. to talk about the specific activities, you're going to know more about what coaching is and sprinkling them, sprinkling them in throughout your day, which I think it is harder for newer coaches to get used to stories and sharing those things. But the more you do, you connect much faster. But I want to make sure that you have an open for business post and let me know when you have one. And if, if I haven't seen it yet, like, tell me, go ahead and look at this post. What do you think? And I also just actually helped um, craft a post with Steph. So it was really nice um, that she reached out because that's my, like, my go-to is crafting that eye-grabbing post and giving your story into it and really like there's certain things that you can do such as spacing in your post um there's like apps where you can like make words bold or like italics and it stands out and it's made in a way that it grabs someone's attention gives them details um you know how it's changed your life and in inserting what the personal impact it's made and then making a call to action so whether or not like it's saying inviting you along, inviting other people along, but you're asking them to engage in the post. It's really important not to just to make statements, but have them engage. And ways to do that, like drop an emoji, like how you feel right now on your like health and fitness journey, or like how you feel as a mom during COVID, or do you feel the same way as me? Like asking them to do something to your, like comment below is really important. So that's my tip. Now, just real quick, have you made this post yet? No, not yet. Okay. So that's a goal to do that. Um, the best times, I think, are Thursday nights and Sunday nights um, to get the most eyes on that. That's just a little tip. And if you haven't yet, we'll go through this um, this weekend, is talking about um, your social media, the aesthetics, what it looks like, and kind of doing like a social media audit. And there's certain things that you can do um, that I'll get more in detail and more in depth where you can see the analytics uh, of how many people have engaged in the post or seen the post or the times that people are on. So there are certain things that you can use to your advantage to be smart um, about post. So lastly, we're going to go over prices. So the first prize for hitting Emerald is a $25 Amazon gift card. Um, which you've already won an Amazon gift card through the boot camp, which is really fun. And then the second prize for hitting diamond rank by September 30th is a $100 Lululemon gift card. And then if you hold rank for six weeks and that turns into a lifetime rank advancement, you have to hold diamond for six weeks, you get an additional $100 cash. So um, 
that is everything that I had for um, today's call, just making it short and sweet. Now, I wanna take questions that you have, either on any videos, any links I've sent in the chat or the trackers. Um, I'm just, I'm still getting used to, um, not pushing on it on people, but just like sending, like, hey, do you wanna join, you know? Um, which I've gotten a lot better at the past couple like days because now I'm doing this. So it's like more of a push. Mm -hmm. So I'm just doing that. And then I got to, I got to figure out what to write in that post. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, usually I talk about, um, when I started talking about coaching, it was more focused on my physical transformation and mental transformation not about the business opportunity because I hadn't experienced it. I hadn't experienced a live event. I hadn't experienced, um, usually every quarter, they have a super Saturday where you meet up in your local area, you know, in our area in Norfolk or Virginia Beach. And I didn't see the impact that it had on me meeting with people. So it was a little bit more typical to talk about specifically the business. But what I highly suggest is sharing the growth, especially because you've had experience for so many months with our group and you've had serious, I mean, a transformation and the post that you made, um, I think it was in June about how it's changed more than just the number on the scale. I think you should definitely share about that. And a lot of people do before and after pictures. Um, Stephanie did one, but it wasn't like a full body, but it talked more about like the mental change and how uh, motherhood and getting lost in that and not really finding an identity um, and focusing and putting her first and she kind of just put herself last. That's what she talked about. But talking about Sierra and what Sierra's experienced for the last couple months and write down, you know, a list. Um, write down, you know, how's my mindset shifted? How has my lifestyle every single day shifted? What has my focus done? How has personal development changed? And write those things down. And as you're thinking about it, you're like, okay, well, the last three, four months or how I think, when was the first, I think it was March or? Yeah, February. no, it was February. February. Yeah, what has changed from February and how has it carried you through COVID? I think that's really relatable. And talking to that girl, I mean, if you're planning on working with men, that's fine. But talking to the woman that you were before you started and reaching to her, making it really um, a valuable post. And we talked about this in some of the training that I've done with my two-star push training is, is your post pinnable? Like would someone pin it and be like, this is an inspiration. This is something that I relate to. And I would like to go back and feel inspired, you know, if I looked back on that post. So know that um, it's not just if you see yourself writing, I, 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 me, 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 me. Reach out and say, you know, to the woman that feels this way. You know, if you're sitting in your living room and you feel overwhelmed or you feel lost or you feel X, Y, Z, however you felt before starting, highlight that and talk to that girl. And there are other um, resources on using your story and your voice um, for others. And that's really important um, that when someone's reading it, you talk to them and they're engaged, right? And so if it's a very long post, you keep engaging with that person through your story that you're writing. I suggest not um, writing more than two sentences without breaking it up because people get distracted. <laughs> Stan is really small. And um, making sure I open it with a good attention grabber line, um, something that is really powerful. And inserting that information in the middle and then closing it with a call to action for someone to take action, whether it is to drop like a little, yeah, that's me. <laughs> or, you know, a little emoji or, you know, that nature. So I would say it is hard to be vulnerable at first, but when you think about how much this could help someone and yeah. out of the funk and the sludge, like I, then I'm like, okay, it's worth it. 
you know, this is the way that I can minister to other women, you know, and yeah. usually um, your story it in scheduling, like your kind of your social media posts that that's another thing that we're going to talk about um, is actually making intention every single day. So touching on your story once a week, touching on maybe your workouts and what you're doing and the engagement, you know, that you're having with um, the groups, broad groups, maybe sharing something funny, like, or quirky, or it's a meal plan, or it's a, you know, favorite recipe, like one day. And then the next day, maybe you share about family and the next day, you know, like, so we have sharing through the week, different things. So, um, but yes, your opening post ripping off the mandate and just write something up and I can look at it. You know, I can kind of like change your voice, but there are ways to keep people's attention and not lose them and make sure that your story is actually like read, you know, <laughs> people actually like attention. So, um, anything else? No, I think that's all I have. Okay. And I share that link in our group about storytelling. Um, by Ashley Smith. If you go to Ashley Smith Fitness YouTube page, she has a lot of trainings and she is queen of using her stories and like the actual, like on your app <laughs> stories. Mm -hmm. And she makes most of her call to actions, invites, talking about coaching, getting coaches to sign up or, or challengers through her stories. So it's definitely the posts, which is pretty amazing. Um, that's a tip. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to stop recording and